Photoshop is one of the most recognizable pieces of software on the planet. The name is so familiar that it's practically become a verb. But where did it come from? It's a name synonymous with photography, and yet it's most often used to distort and enhance reality. We can now create a completely idealized version of the truth with just a few quick clicks. In 1987, photo retouching was hardly new, but two whiz kids had the idea to make it even easier by using a personal computer. Thomas Knoll, a doctor student in computer science, wrote the initial code in 1987 and introduced it to his brother John, who worked at Industrial Light and Magic. The two brothers worked together on a fledgling piece of software, then named Display. It was rudimentary but powerful, and John hoped one day to be able to use it to create special effects for movies. In 1988, the project was renamed to Photoshop, and an iconic brand was born. Toward the end of that year, John Knoll presented his product to Adobe, and shortly thereafter, Adobe Photoshop 1.0 was born. Version 1 included some of the most iconic and recognizable tools, many of which can still be found in Photoshop today, including the eyedropper, the pencil, and the eraser. Over the years and various software iterations, we also became acquainted with the clone stamp, layer styles, the lasso tool, and of course, everybody's favorite, the undo command. We're all familiar with all of those. But did you know that Photoshop has introduced a few hidden features along the way too? For example, in version 7.0, Photoshop learned to detect and ignore images of banknotes. That was also the first version that carried the name CS, which stands for Creative Suite. This was the umbrella term that Adobe coined to incorporate its family of creative apps. Since the introduction of the Creative Suite, which was renamed Creative Cloud in 2013, Photoshop has continued to add new features and has become the standard bearer for image editing software used in multiple industries all over the world. Photoshop never quite became the special effects powerhouse that the Knoll brothers had envisioned, but it's now arguably one of the most famous pieces of software on the planet. Plus, John Knoll went on to work on Mission Impossible, Harry Potter, and even Star Wars, so we're pretty sure that he's happy. His brother Thomas is still working to develop Photoshop today. Their creation, meanwhile, marches on into the 21st century, and its name is now so extensively used that Adobe is in danger of losing its copyright on the word. Entire memes, subcultures, and contests have sprung up around Photoshop, arguably the most entertaining of which is the Bad Photoshop series, which just... come on. From pixels to paint buckets, Adobe's Creative Cloud now has over 8 million subscribers worldwide, and new features are still being added. Now, if only Photoshop could help us organize our files properly.